October 20th. Today we celebrate the memory of our holy God-bearing father, Gerasimus the New. Our holy father Gerasimus came from the Peloponnese. In his youth, his devout parents put him to the study of sacred literature, in which he showed outstanding ability. As a young man, he left home for the island of Zakynthos, and he travelled all over Greece. Then, from Thessaly, he made his way to the Black Sea, to Constantinople and Chalcedon. Everywhere he went, he sought out men who, being perfect in the ascetic life, could teach him the arts of arts and the science of sciences, prayer. He arrived at last on Mount Athos, where he met many of the ascetics who lived there. He spent a good while on Athos among the servants of the Mother of God, and he received the great angelic habit there, and was devoted to the practice of all the virtues of the monastic life. After some years, he went on pilgrimage to the holy places. At Jerusalem, he was ordained subdeacon, deacon, and priest by the patriarch Germanus I. After one year serving at the Holy Sepulchre, he spent the following twelve in the service of the patriarch, but never slackened in his ascetic struggle. On one occasion, he went into the Jordan Desert and spent forty days in fasting and prayer as the Saviour did. Then he went back to serve the patriarch as before. Eventually he left Jerusalem and he continued his pilgrimage. He lived for a while at Mount Sinai, then at Alexandria, and travelled widely in Egypt. After that he passed on to Antioch and Damascus, took sheep to Crete, and returned finally to Zakynthos. He settled there in a remote cave, where, lacking bread and salt, he lived on nothing but a few vegetables. Despite his secluded life, he was soon discovered by the faithful, and many came to receive his blessing and spiritual counsel. St. Gerasimus was well aware of the saying of the Desert Fathers that nothing is as perilous for a monk as the praise and esteem of man, and so he decided to look for another hiding place. He found a little cave on the island of Kefalonia, where he stayed for about six years. But just as a shining lamp cannot be hid, there also the virtue of the saint came to light and the faithful did not leave him to converse alone with the one God. Divine providence led him to a place called Omala, somewhere on the island where there was a little church and a miraculous icon. Here God made him know for a certainty that the time had come to accept disciples. Twenty-five young women came asking him to take them under his spiritual direction and to transform the little church into a monastery. He saw, therefore, that he must give up the way of life he preferred above all other, for the sake of sharing with his disciples the graces and spiritual experience that he had received in full measure from the Lord. The monastery was called New Jerusalem, and those who dwelt there seemed as angels in the flesh. Saint Gerasimus lived to be very old, and was forewarned of the day of his death. He gathered about him all his spiritual daughters, gave them his final counsels, blessed them, and with joy and in great peace gave up his soul into the hands of his Lord and God. He died in 1579 on the feast of the Domitian of the Mother of God. His memory is kept on October 20th, being the day of the translation of his relics. Until the present day, the body of St. Gerasimus remains complete and incorrupt, as if he were asleep. It distills a heavenly fragrance and works many miracles. The saint has become the patron of the island of Kefalonia, the protector of all the inhabitants and their powerful intercessor before God. Particularly notable is his power to deliver the possessed, who are brought from all quarters into the presence of his holy relics. The preservation of orthodoxy in Kefalonia, in spite of many centuries of Italian, Roman occupation, 
is due to the intercession of St. Gerasimus. Thee, our God, glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, Treasury of good things and Giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Let us the faithful praise the divine Gerasimus, who has been newly revealed to us as a protector of the Orthodox, an angel in the flesh, and a God-bearing wonder-worker. For he worthily received from God the unfailing gift of healing. He restores the ailing and heals demoniacs. Wherefore he pours forth healings upon them that honor him. The charioteer of Pharaoh sunk in olden times by Moses' rod, which wrought a mighty wonder when in the cross's form it struck the sea, dividing it in twain. And it led into safety sojourning Israel that fled by foot, chanting to the Lord God a song of praise. Holy Father, get us in pray to God for all. Thou who didst pass thy whole life long in labors to attain the highest love for God and thy neighbor, in thy mercy now receive the hymns presented unto thee by a people in sorrows, O ever blessed Gerasimus, and redeem us all from adversity. Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for all. The incorruption of thy holy relics and the marvels wrought at thy shrine most mightily muzzle the audacious mouths that prayed against our fair and faultless faith. But they fill with divine joy the little flock of the Orthodox as it keeps festival in thy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsaking kindred, wealth, and country, thou becamest as a stranger on earth, O God-bearing Father, seeking only that divine and holy fatherland on high, to attain unto which thou didst keep thy heart far from all desire that could draw thee down unto earthly things. Both now and forever to the ages of ages, amen. Thou who art comelier in wondrous beauty than the sons of men, O Christ God, O Son of the Virgin, bend thy bow and pierce our hearts with wounds of longing after thee. Through thy mother's entreaty set us aflame with thy strong desire, that thy love might dwell in our lowly hearts. Of the vault of the heavens are thou, O Lord, fashioner, so too of the church art thou founder, do thou establish me in unfeigned love for thee, who art the height of things sought for, 
and staff of the faithful, O thou only friend of man. O Holy Father, Gerasimus, pray to God for us. Send the saving fear of God into my heart, O Gerasimus, to light the way of my life before me, and to guide me to love and fame. O Holy Father, Gerasimus, pray to God for God us. God has richly given thee the gift to work signs and miracles, hence of that grace thereof thou art steward, do thou grant also unto us glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Exorcist of unclean spirits, and swift healer of every ill, drive off the darkness of every ailment from our bodies and souls and minds. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Grant me sorrow for my sins, a lowly heart and most mighty faith, Bring forth my thoughts out of their disorder, and direct them unto thy Son. With the rains of thy tears thou hast ended drought, with the spear of thy prayers casting demons out. O Father Gerasimus, in thy love for thy fellow man, and preserving a woman cast into a lightless well, Thou hast shown what thy power is even beyond the grave. Wherefore, draw us also from the pit of our failings, and save us from all the spite of the prince of this fallen world, as we cry out to thee with faith. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing Keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By conceiving the wisdom and word of God in thy womb without being consumed thereby, Thou bearest for all the world him whose might doth uphold the world. Thou dost hold in thine arms him that beareth the universe, who has fashioned creation and giveth their food to all. Wherefore I beseech thee, O thou all holy virgin, and mother of Christ our God, on the dread day of reckoning, when I shall have to stand before the face of my Creator and God in thy love for mankind, grant thy speedy help to me, thine unworthy servant, for I have thee as my hope. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for us. Thou didst bear evils manfully, casting all thy care on the righteous judge of all, and beholding thy firm faith in him, he increased thy glory in the sight of man. O Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for us. Thou didst guide many righteous nuns to that longed-for kingdom, O wise Gerasimus, and us coming to thee after them, do thou also lead us on high, O blessed of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As before thou didst end a drought, lying waste the land, O divine Gerasimus, send the rains of grace upon us now, softening our hardened hearts with godly tears. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hearken, Mother, incline thine ear, and do not forget thine own people and thy flock, which does call on thee with cries of faith, seeking thy protection and deliverance. Lord, enlighten us by thy precepts and by thy commands and by the power of thy lofty arm. Bestow thy peace upon us all, since thou art friend of man. Holy Father, get us, he must pray to God for us. Ornament of monks and a loving father unto nuns and staunch defender of all orthodox, 
Protect us all from every harm and guide us all to God. Holy Father, get us in my spirit to God for us. Egypt saw thy light with Jerusalem and Antioch and Cephalonia and Zacynthos. Now shine upon us with thy joy, O great Gerasimus. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Demons have no strength where thy blessed name is called upon. Wherefore we mightily invoke thine aid. Come, bring thy grace, O friend of Christ, divine Gerasimus. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Holier art thou than the seraphim and cherubim, and greater far is thy maternal prayer than all my sins. And save my soul, O mother of my life. Entreaty do I pour forth unto the Lord, and to him do I proclaim all my sorrows. For many woes fill my heart to replenishing, and lo, my life unto Hades has now drawn nigh. Like Jonah do I pray to thee, raise me up from corruption, O Lord my God. O Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for us. With many labors and pains thou overcomes the carnal mind, making thy soul an august and pleasing abode of the all-worshipful Trinity, who has made thee wondrous, O illustrious Gerasimus. O Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for when us. When thou didst chasten the priest who struck a woman possessed and sick, thou didst reveal that thy great compassion is mightier than death, O Gerasimus, and that, though in heaven, thou dost suffer with us here on the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Father, take me in hand, lead me through dangers of every kind, through all temptations and snares, through fear of the enemy, through pitfalls of fleshly lusts. Bring me to the kingdom, where no pain or sorrow has a place. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The King who greatly desired thy virgin beauty, O full of grace, has made thee stand at his own right hand as the Queen, the Mediatress for all mankind, and all of they that laud thee are brought in unto him after thee. Now doth Cephalonia with sacred songs of thanksgiving call upon the multitudes of all the Orthodox Christians to extol the boast and glory of Orthodoxy the divine and great Gerasimus, who is truly her deliverer and champion, who doth preserve her from all the harm of her foes. With God-given joy and gladness we rejoice in thy memorial, O righteous Father Gerasimus, who art glorified of God. For in thee we have seen the life of an angel in a mortal man, O God-bearing Father of the stature of the ancients, who has lived in latter times, and an indisputable testimony to the uncorrupted truth of our Orthodox faith. And as we flee to thee with faith in every distress, we also find thee to be our deliverer and champion, who doth preserve us from all the harm of our foes. Who doth preserve us from all the harm of our foes? Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon. The fire of the furnace they trampled down while chanting by their faith in the Trinity. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for us. At the venerable Jordan thou didst fast for forty days, seeking him whom thou didst love. And he, seeing thy fervor, increased thy strength and graces, as with joy thou didst cry to him, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for us. O look down out of heaven, and behold what a world now does compass us about, what universal darkness, 
but light our way, O Father, that with Thee we might ever shout, O God of our fathers, blessed are Thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the day saw Thy labours, so the night saw Thee standing in prayer with fiery tears, and both the earth and heaven have marvelled at the wonders thou dost work, as thou cries out, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. On thy holy domitian thou didst stay to thyself, thy beloved Gerasimus, with him, O Sovereign Lady, entreat thy Son to save us who praise thee as we cry to him, O God of our fathers, blessed are thou. Let us ever extol and praise the Lord God who has seen of old on the holy mountain glory, who by the fiery bush revealed the great mystery of the ever-virgin and undefiled maiden unto the prophet Moses. Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for us. Thou, on visiting Zion, Egypt, Athos, didst at last come to rest upon a little island, from whence thy fame has gone forth into all the world as a great God-bearer and a wonder-worker and help of all the faithful. Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for us. As thou standest in everlasting glory with the great men of old, whose equal thou becamest, Remember us, O merciful Gerasimus, with the wanted mercy thou didst show to all men throughout thine earthly sojourn. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art feared by the God opposing demons, but revered as a friend by all the holy angels. And thou art called upon by all the Orthodox as their swift defender, healer in diseases, and triumph over error. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. How thine arrows are sharp, O thou most mighty, very sharp in the hearts of them that sore desire thee, well lauding with unbounded love the spotless queen, whom thou in thy goodness tookest as thy mother, adorned in varied virtues. The heavens were astonished and stood in awe, and the ends of the earth made was sore amazed. For God appeared boldly to mankind as very man, and lo, thy womb has proved to be vaster and more spacious than heaven's heights. For thee, so Theotokos, the choirs and assemblies of men and angels, magnify thy name. O Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for us. Thou sought after him who was crucified, adding labours to labours and prayer to ever warmer prayer, daily crucifying the carnal man till grace completely drew thee forth from the death of sin to the life in Christ. And now, as thou enjoyest in part thy rest and wages, forget us not, O kind Gerasimus. O Holy Father Gerasimus, pray to God for us. Confined within a comfortless cave alone, while thy body was straitened with fastings, hardship, and distress, thine enlightened soul kept a daily feast with God and all the saints in light, with a joy the whole world cannot bestow, thy soul is now in heaven, while on the earth thy body is glorified with ceaseless miracles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thy feast is a right ri reason up as a day of joy, shedding light in the hearts of all, praising thee with faith and love. As thou art invisibly in our midst, receive the prayers we offer thee, heal us of our sorrows and maladies, break down the chains of passions, drive out the nestling demons, and save our soul, O Saint Gerasimus. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, child, O good lady, behold now the whole world, now does imitate Ishmael and Esau and wicked Cain, and Hagar's sons have been stirred up once again to chasten with blood and death. But in thy dread protection, preserve us safe, O Virgin, and lead us in thy mercy to thy Son. 
With the prayers of Saint John the Baptist of the Holy and all praise the apostles, with the power and under the protection of the Holy and alive giving cross of the Lord and all the bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of Saint Eninian, Saint Cuthbert, Saint Sisovus, Saint Brandon, Saint Oran of Iona, Saint Columba of Iona, Saint Kenneth, Saint Ronan, Saint Molwag. And all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy great martyr Artemius of Antioch, with the prayers of our father among the saints Gerasimus, with the prayers of Saint Braden, Saint Aurora, Saint Aidan, and Saint Acca, and all those with them, known and unknown to us, but known to God in his kingdom, whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. At the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.